Hey everyone, this is John, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a modified digital communication application from the book Programmable Microcontrollers with Applications using the MSP430 Launchpad by Mr. Zunsalon and Gearhan. Okay, so to talk about this project, I'm going to need you to use a little imagination. Imagine this launch pad is not here. I know you're saying, you know, John, whenever you have these breadboard videos, you don't use a launch pad at all. Why do you have one now? I'm going to talk about that a little bit later for those who are interested. So imagine that isn't here. Imagine it goes from USB right to the chip. So what's happening? LED, chip one, chip two. Computer. Chip one communicates to the computer using a communication protocol called UART or Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. It's a communication protocol used in electronics so that they can communicate with each other. Chip one sends a message via UART to the computer, and the message is duty cycle is 0%. Hit I to increase, D to decrease. I. I is sent from the computer to chip one using UART. Chip one acknowledges the message. And then it sends a message to chip two using I squared C. Enter integrated circuit communication protocol, a different protocol from UART. Why a different communication protocol? I like variety. Chip one communicates to chip two using I squared C saying, increase the duty cycle of the LED by 10%. Chip two receives that message, acknowledges it. Chip two then increases the duty cycle of the pulse width modulated LED by 10% and it increases the brightness of the LED. And that's basically what happens. So to recap, chip one communicates to the computer via UART. It sends a message. Duty cycle is 10%. Hit I to increase, D to decrease. I hit I on the computer. The computer communicates to chip one via UART the message I. Chip one receives that message. Chip two then communicates to chip one, I'm sorry, communicates then to chip two using I squared C. The message is increase the duty cycle by 10%. Chip two receives that message and then in turn increases the duty cycle of the pulse width modulated LED by 10%. And that's basically the system. Now, for those of you who are interested, I'll go ahead and talk about why I'm using the launch pad. Basically, the launch pad is two halves. As you can see, this dotted line right here. Top half, emulation. Bottom half, chip. Now, what does that mean? Emulation means a lot of stuff, so we'll just call it fancy stuff. Emulation does fancy stuff. The chip is basically just the chip, a place to put the chip, pins to access the chip, a couple of buttons for the chip, a couple of LEDs for the chip, and a timepiece, a crystal for the chip. And that's basically all it is. Chip is connected to fancy stuff by these headers, these five headers. I've disconnected the chip part from the fancy part. So, Basically, I'm just using this right here, just the fancy part on top. As you can see, I've taken away the test jumper, the reset jumper, the receive and transmit jumper. I've just left the VCC because I am using power from the USB. I usually use it from a battery, but I thought, why not use it from the USB? So I'm getting power from the USB, but that's the only part that's connected. So, like I said, this is fancy stuff. One of the fancy things that this fancy stuff does is it converts UART communication protocol to USB communication protocol. And that's pretty handy when you want to use a UART chip to communicate with 
a USB computer. You know, you don't have a UART port on your computer, right? Right. None of us do really. Um, but we do have a USB port. So this fancy part I'm using to convert from UART to USB. And I'm using that to communicate through the terminal. As you can see, it's connected. So that's, that's what this board is for, basically. So to review, chip one communicates via UART to FANCY. FANCY converts UART to USB, and it communicates to the computer. The message was sent. You have an input. The computer sends the message via USB to the FANCY. The FANCY converts USB to UART. UART converted goes to chip one. Chip one acknowledges the message. Chip one communicates to chip two using I squared C. Chip two acknowledges that message and it in turn changes the duty cycle of the LED. And that's basically what happens. That's addition communication. I'm John. That's the video. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll leave them in the comments. I'll do the best I can. Have a good one.